Welcome back everybody, it's Destiny Jesus here. Today I've got a brand new video looking at how these guys are so good at WK. This is their fourth cash cup they've won now, and it's for deal, reason, and no right. They're absolutely probably the best WKs in the world at the moment, and they're just absolutely insane at fighting in terms of their positioning, how they set up fights as a team, how they're able to close fights quickly without exploiting in, and there's so many valuable bits of information as well in this video that I really recommend you guys watch this full thing if you want to do good in all the Trio tournaments in 2021. I stream this all over on my Twitch slash Destiny Jesus, so make sure to go follow me over there if you want to catch these videos live as well as with me just streaming arena and other things like that but i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like if you did and also subscribe if you're new you can see that the importance of scouting off spawn uh they realize that they're on con and they're gonna have to go sweaty after they saw a full team going sway so these guys are very very good at climbing this is a this is a big thing in off spawn it's a very big thing at sweaty basically to get as much as possible that makes sense right so they're climbing the whole of hotel because he's got bear strop and then instead of claiming this building, he's even getting like greedy and claiming this building as well. And then Reason's claiming Trouble Chest. Um, most trios, whenever I watch them, like when I watch like Andalex or Janice's trio, right? Those guys at Sweaty, they would claim just like this and this, you know? And then they'd either push this and get it or they'd push this and get it. But these guys, they're being really bold and they're claiming literally everything in that area. And that's just a big thing in our spawn. If you can claim more space, you'll have more development in terms of like mats and loot and shield, basically. Just because you get more chests, obviously. And you also limit how much the other team can get. As long as you don't mess it up and get like too greedy, it's probably the best thing that you can do. Like, as long as it's not like a full true in Vidil's building and he just dies. They do it in a very safe way, but it's a very good thing to do. In these WQ games, you cannot waste time. Like, literally, you just cannot waste time. Here, they split around a little bit. Nice. I like how, like, instinctively these two, like, go together, sort of. Nice. Okay, that's clean. I like how we didn't rush there. I feel like a lot of players would rush into like finishing that, you know? Always really important. That The biggest thing there to learn from is just as you're dropping in, if you're on con, just scout what POIs are going to be busy. They knew that Pleasant, oh no, they knew that Pleasant was possibly had been taken, and then they also knew that Sweaty had like two teams. Attack. I honestly think for trios and for solos, the attack is so much better. Unless you're like a big charge player, you know, obviously. Nice play by video. That's a nice full box. If there's a guy on your teammate's wall, like this, right? He peeks and then he, he full box him through the like the right window and then he sets himself enough to position there. Come, come. Because he's got the full box there and he's not even peeking into it, then his teammate can help. Best trio. Yeah. There's not many other teams that compare to them and just like fighting. But not even compare, there's nobody like in person. Right here. Nice full box again. This kid's clueless. Nice. That was a nice full box to the side. He also jumps like wide to the left. That's the tickle. I don't even know what that's called. I, I don't have a good word to call that. Apart from just like phasing a building through the wall. It's a really useful tip. But again, all of these fights are ending so quick. Obviously these teams are absolutely awful, right? But um, the reason these fights are ending so quick is because they just they split angles. They split angles really well. They know where each other are. So then they're always coming from different directions, basically. Yeah, this kid, like, with a charge, can't even do anything because how good their angles are. This kid's begging it. He's just reboxing. That's so stupid. That's so stupid. Even though the guy's 1 HP, 
You guys notice? He doesn't export in. He doesn't export into a solo's box when he's a solo and his teammates aren't near him. Because what would happen? Then if he, Even if he gets the knock, he's in the guy's full edits. And it's very easy for the guy's teammates to come and just get timing on him. Um, but right now, they're all just fighting. And they're fighting in a way that's really safe. Like, nobody's taking a lot of damage. Um, and also, nobody's... Like, nobody's ever losing their shield, basically. They're just all fighting very, very safe defensively. Just taking walls rather than just exploiting in. Like normally, in a if you're all together, you can export in. It'll be safe because your teammates can trade you or stuff like that. Nice. These kind of openings here where you just get like a cone double edit for your teammates are really nice. Just in the same angle. This is why the this is what the attack is better than the charge, in my opinion, for team modes because you can key like this. I'll see if they change up later. But right here, they're all running back. Yes, under there. She's up, she's up. Nice, bro. All three of them. And there's no way, like, there's, there's literally no way that guy survives at all. But look how useful that is. If your teammates, if your teammates are jumping into the guy's box, just export a cone through the wall like that. Like, how how useful is that? And then the kids just like, what the. F the kid's in a full box and then he just can't do anything and then they all just take walls at the same time. We'll have to see later. He goes like a thunder bump there. Alec he does. Wait, what did Reason just scream? That seemed like a very important comm. What the f*** did he just scream? Here, split angles. You can see the, the kind of play. That's the good thing about having impulses is one person can get to like an angle like this and the other two are coming in from this kind of way. Um, just so they can get opening damage on the fight. Rather than committing straight in, they just get opening damage on the fight, and then they're pretty much good from there, basically. This kid's so god. Oh my god, no, I just got The reason he hit him 110 there was because of the split angle, basically. You always need to be looking at your positioning before you get into the fight, and what kind of advantage I can give you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Nice. They just isolated that guy. That was a good play with the car. Getting like over and above that guy with the car. These kids are just running away though. Nice. Good call. You have to use moving in Shiro fights. People always, they, they don't realize this, but if you if you only get kills in churros, you need to use movement to close the gap. So three shop quests here is an investment into getting these kills. It's fine in my opinion. It stopped, yeah, no, it's good. Cone underneath. Ah, oh, it's a very useful technique. Missed the full box. That's not gonna read it. Ooh. That was gonna hold on. Let me go back and show you guys that. Cone underneath and then Pickaxes wants full boxes, covers all the back walls. He missed the one wall to the left, otherwise the kid would have been fully boxed. And then here, he instead of doing a cone where the guy could trade him, he forces a stare in. And then if the guy was going to trade him, then now he'd have a better peek because the guy would be here. He forces a stare in rather than a cone so he doesn't get instantly traded with attack. That's the charge. The attack comes to insta fire with good damage. Um, Snipers again. Snipers are so good at like opening these kind of fights. In here. Always trying to call and like isolate a solo. One just one that's boxed up a little bit split. This is the Kiriachi uh wall replace thing. Without the Mastercraft, so useful. It's one of the best like wall replaces from above. That's also one of the best reports. He just literally did the two best wall replaces from above, back to back. Very good box line. Nice. Long angle. Nice. Nice. Hold on, hold on, let me go back. So here is like a 3v2 box fight, right? A 3v3 box fight. As soon as he gets that like dead call, the deal says go go go, and that basically just means that they're trying to end the fight as quick as possible, especially because his own and everything. Um, and they need to, they still need to have decent position in this game. Somewhat. Oh, 
And this is like just literally perfect oh, peaks by oh, no, yeah. And then Vanille gets him with purple attack. Again, they're playing they're playing their shotgun rolls really well where Vanille has purple attack so he can just do what he wants and just stuff in. And then Noah's playing a lot more of like a long safe angle. Also here they're trying to end the game as quick as possible so their timings are good going into the next lobby if that makes sense. Kind of a weird concept, but in, in open round tournaments like this, if you win a game before moving zones even start, like they do now, then that game, when did it even start? It's only a 20 minute game, rather than being like a 23, 24 minute game. Yeah, let's see what they do here. They get a lot of kills here, don't they? Like a lot. It says they've got four right now, but that's why they've got more. That's a nice play by no, he just backs up a little bit to get a different angle on people. Easy movement. Oh, they're just so impossible. Nice, cool. Really good as well. I like that reconnect on high ground. The issue is whenever you're building a tarp from like here to here, is the, the rifters can tank storm and land like anywhere on the tarp. I think that's the best way to deal with rifters and first moving is just to rebuild high ground on top of somebody else's impulse. second height. You just quick scope the kid on right. One HP, meet us up here. Let's go. I'll fight, I'll fight. They're contesting, guys, man. Just front zone, just front zone, front zone. But yeah, crack 90s, crack 90s, crack 90s. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to go over there. I'm going to go over there. Nice. Rift, rift. Oh my god, there's so many rifters, bro. Again, because of the fact they, they use movement to get over this side, and they have movement through W King, for any of you guys being pedantic. Then the, the rifters can't land anywhere on this high. Like, they can't land anywhere on the back top because they're over on the front, you know? Nice. Triple spray. These kids genuinely look clueless, I'm not sure. Yeah, that guy just got done. Alright, they're chilling in. This is this is literally such a free game as long as I'm like get K launch. K launch or anything. Nice. Those are openings. This is how you want to play. If you're if you're a fair player when you're on height, those are the openings you need to go for and this. Stuff like that. What am I watching right now? Oh, they just get everybody. The audio's cut out. Okay. Um, I assume it's not copyrighted for a second. Nice. GG's. Here, they have rift fishes, right? But you got to think. What gets them more kills? Rift fishing and then playing like second night and then rift fishing again, or just building a metal tarp and killing everybody who is rift fishing and then saving it for later game players. So this is how I'm saying the correct play. Just because you have movement doesn't mean you need to do it if you don't need to. You know, reason goes back a tarp. That's so smart. You can't have all three at the front because somebody will land at the back and then go over the top. Oh. Nice wall take. You can actually edit that wall there if you do a proper. It's like a really weird angle you need to do with your blueprint bit, but you can do it. Here they're just focusing second. They mats aren't the best because they full held height. And they full tarped it as well. So they just need to focus down second height team. Does Vidil win this though? He surely wins this. They they got him set up for heal off. Yeah, he's still got splashes. He's gonna med kit now and start a little bit early. Med kitting early in the tumor is very good because now this kid's gonna shockwave up and just. I didn't even look at the kid, what? Rift fish? Fish. He, has, he has a Riffish for here, this is nuts. I mean, they wouldn't have a Riffish here. They would have, look, they had two Riffish. <laughs> have, you, have you ever seen a team with two Riffish, full hold height, and then use it for healer, like, just in case? Like, 